In regards to food served aboard the Queen Elizabeth, it's quite obvious there are distinct classes of dining. For example, on level 2, you'll find the Britannia restaurant, which is the most visited dining room for all meals by most passengers. But close by is another dining room which is a step above, called the Britannia Club. This is an exclusive restaurant for Britannia Club members, who also stay in a Britannia Club cabin. To view this club cabin, just go to this report on cabin 8055. So, if you want to experience more than the exclusive Britannia Club dining, then book your cruise within either the Queen's Grill or the Princess Grill Club, and you will not only receive exquisite accommodation, but also private entry to the respective Queen's or Princess restaurants on level 11. You'll also have access to the very private Grill's lounge for a pre-dinner drink. Breakfast to dinner are served in both restaurants, but you still have access to the rest of the ship to explore. Let's explore the rest of the ship, floor by floor, or deck by deck, in terms of food and drinks. Okay, the Britannia Club restaurant, as mentioned earlier is a step up from the Britannia restaurant, and is exclusive to Britannia Club members. In this restaurant you'll have the same table for the duration of the cruise, as well dedicated staff. What can be said about this restaurant, when you have a table available to you for the duration of the cruise as part of the Britannia Club services, that's availed to you. The wait staff are your regular staff who serve your table and develop a unique understanding of your personal tastes, from food to wine. So, with both restaurants behind us, we come to Café Corinthia on the right, a place to enjoy a coffee or tea. Also there is a bar on the left, as well the veranda restaurant close by. This is where you can order the best steak of your choice. As you pass through the lobby you'll find the Queen's Arcade, but before you arrive at the forward lifts, we arrive at the Golden Lion English Pub, on the right, with good English fare as one would expect. Let's move up to Deck 3, by either, the lifts or stairs. As far as finding food and drinks, we'll walk back towards the lobby, and the first bar we come to, is the Midship Bar. If we keep walking past the lobby we'll come to the upper level of the Britannia restaurant, which is the main dining room. Okay, levels 4 to level 8 are all passenger accommodation levels, so let's go to level 9 to track down more food and drink locations. What can we say about deck 9, but it has at the rear, or aft of the ship, a small grill area to order food by the pool, as well the Lido pool bar, for drinks, and a place to dance. Have a look at our lively ship review and you can see why this ship is ready for fun. Our next stop is the Lido restaurant, and although you have three meals a day provided for you at your allocated dining room, the Lido restaurant is a self-serve eatery for all types of food that you can visit all day. That's right, all day. All right, setting a different pace is the garden lounge. It's just outside the second pool, and it's a place to sit, rest, contemplate, read or play cards with friends, or visit when there's live entertainment. This is a beautiful sanctuary, with glass ceilings above and yes, a bar is close at hand for that sunset cocktail. As we look back to the garden lounge, we're just outside the pavilion bar, that essentially services pool area guests. So, taking the lift to level 10, we arrive at the yacht club, which is well appointed, spacious and as you would expect, upmarket. Two doors down is the Commodore Club that highlighted cocktails named after well-known Commodores. Take for example, Commodore Sir James Charles, 1865 to 1928. Sir J.C. had a reputation for doing things on a grand scale of opulence. Ever the showman, he bowed out of service just as grandly upon the completion of his 728th transatlantic crossing, at which time he passed away in his quarters, on the eve of his retirement. Befitting his reputation is a cocktail called, Over the Top. With two types of gin, just add a dash of cherry brandy, a dash of fever-free tonic, which is basically quinine, decorate it with fresh fruit, basil, then soda it up well with an old-fashioned soda siphon. Arriving with a tray of components to make the cocktails was unexpected to say the least, as well preparation at the table. It certainly gave that Sir James Charles presentation one would expect. All I can say, is that it was both refreshing and delicious, entertaining, and probably the most authentic cocktail we've had on any ship.
highly recommended. The last deck to visit in terms of food and drinks is one we previously mentioned at the beginning of this report, but to recap, to dine at either of the grill restaurants is the pinnacle of exquisite dining, apart from the Britannia Club restaurant on level 2. Please check out our cabin video and our ship video, as it is highly informative. Thank you for allowing us to briefly showcase all the food and drink areas of the Queen Elizabeth.